iOS 26 public beta is finally here. And in this video, I wanna focus on all of the new home and lock screen customizations that you can try out today. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. I already have iOS 26 downloaded as you can see, and I'm assuming that you have iOS 26 downloaded as well. Let's get right into it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the lock screen customizations that we can do, and then we'll move on into the home screen customizations. And Apple added quite a bit of fun this year that I think a lot of people are really going to like. Let's go to the lock screen and we're going to long press, and I'm going to click on the plus icon. And we're gonna scroll down to the iOS 26 wallpaper section. So we actually have five new wallpapers right here, but this first one is the dynamic wallpaper. If you click on each one of these individually, you'll get the color that's shown. But this first one right here is going to dynamically change. So if we click on that one, and again, you don't have to use this one, you can use other ones, but if we click on this one, and we just kind of hold, this wallpaper is going to change over the course of the day. And it kind of leads us into some other new things with the iOS 26 lock screen. One of the cool things and that I really love about the font right here, so if you click on this, this first font that we're going to select, uh, you can still change the color. You can actually change it in two ways now. It can either be glass or solid. And I still kind of prefer solid, but we'll keep it glass for now. It's only for this font here. So if I go out of here really quick, I can actually make this clock way bigger. It kind of changes the way the lock screen interacts. You also have right here, you can just change it to light or dark. We know that. And then right here, you can also change it to have depth on or off. Now it is set to dynamic and you don't actually have to go back to the other place that we just were. If we wanted to change the color, you could just go here and change it that way. I actually think some of these look better in dark, so we'll just make it dark, and that will be our dynamic wallpaper. So we'll go back to the dynamic. And one of the really nice things that I think is that you can add widgets at the bottom now instead of just at the top. So if I go here to add a widget, you can go here and let's say I just want to select like the stock market right here. Go ahead and add that widget. I'll add weather and I'll go ahead and add this activity and the widgets will live at the very bottom. And I think that's a clean look. A reminder, if you kind of forgot about it, you can customize the flashlight and the camera. So if you remove it and then you want to add a different one, you can as well. And that is kind of the big change with the lock screen. And I think it looks really cool. So we'll go ahead and add it. And you can set this as a pair, so it'll just match what your home screen is, or you can customize your home screen. If we click on customize home screen, it's going to give us what we've previously seen, pair, color, gradient, and you can choose a photo, or you can blur it. And for now, I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just going to mark this as done, and we'll go ahead and look at this wallpaper now. One of the cool things about this wallpaper is it has a really nice 3D effect to it. And with iOS 26, you can actually create 3D wallpapers on your lock screen. So let me just go ahead and find a photo that I really like. So this is a photo of me in Santorini. And let's say I want to make this a wallpaper. So I'm gonna go here and just scroll down and find use as wallpaper, okay? So I could also search it in the place we just were, but for now, I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna pinch it and play around with the clock. Oh, kind of just did it, but let's say I wanna make this a little bit bigger, pull down the clock so it's behind me. I can actually make this a 3D wallpaper by clicking this little icon right here. So that is going to generate a spatial scene. And again, I can adjust it. Let's say I wanna make the clock a little bit bigger. And now it makes that a cool 3D wallpaper, which to me is just awesome. So if you click add and it'll save it, we're just gonna set as pair. And now that wallpaper is a 3D effect. You can definitely play around with it, but I think it's a really cool feature and a nice way to customize your lock screen. So that is what is new with the lock screen. On to the home screen. 
can already see there's changes visually that you don't even have to adjust. The icons get a really nice refreshed look. So if we look at pretty much all of them have some sort of tweak and change and they just look gorgeous. And there's a lot of changes that you can make now with your icons. So this is what it looks like in light mode. And if we want to change it to let's say dark mode or the new clear option or even the different tinting options, we can do that by long pressing on the home screen. Now we do have some new options when we tap on edit. So I'll tap on edit and I have add widget, which is the same as iOS 18. I can add the widget. I can click customize and that'll give me my option to customize my apps. Now I can on here edit my wallpaper. So I do want to show you really quick if I do tap on edit wallpaper. Now we already saw this screen on the lock screen. It's just bringing it to another place that you can edit for your home screen, but I'll cancel out of there and we'll go ahead and long press again. And we have pages, which looks slightly different as well, but I don't really have too many pages, so I don't have to do anything there. Now, if I tap on edit again and go to customize, now I have a few more options than I previously did. So the first one being, I can make it either light or dark. So we'll go ahead and just make it dark. You have your default, you can make it your dark icons, clear the all new and tinted. And then right here you have making it small icons or large, and then you have always an auto. Okay. So we'll just keep it as auto for now. That's what we have right now. The default, when we tap on dark, we'll get the dark icons. We'll just go ahead and change that to the dark. And I think the dark icons look pretty good this year. I actually have been using the clear icons that we're about to see. So if I tap on clear, those look very nice in my opinion. Now I was actually oblivious to this the first time that I downloaded it. You have light clear, but you also have dark clear, which I think is the best option out of the two. It's just a nice look in my opinion. Now, if you want to make these tinted, there's some more tinting options. So you have a color hue here and here, but you have two options. So you have the option to open up kind of like your color wheel to pick based off your wallpaper, what you want. So let's say I want to make it like a little bit purple here. That looks pretty good, but there's also an option right here that will just do it on its own and kind of pick what it thinks the best is. I think what I selected is better, but we can go ahead and go back and select that as the option. And I think that looks pretty good, but I want to keep it as clear and dark. I think that looks super clean. As far as it goes for the home screen and lock screen, those are all the new ways that you can customize your iPhone. I think there's some really nice changes that Apple has brought on. iOS 26 has an insane amount of new features and there's just so much to go over over the coming months. So make sure to subscribe to the channel for anything new on iOS 26. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below if you've downloaded it and what's your experience so far. As always guys, thanks for watching. God bless and I will see you on the next video.